welcome back to Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas day two and it's about 10.30 right now. I have been chilling on the couch in my pajamas for the last like two hours. Just getting done a bunch of computer work and getting up Vlogmas from yesterday and all that. But now I am ready to get my day officially started. So let's get to it. Steven just ran downstairs in an absolute hurry. Busy day? Yes, I have two minutes until my meeting and I gotta make a coffee. Anyways. <laughs> Time to get my coffee and go back to a meeting. All right, you got this. Love you. remembered to wear their glasses today while working at the computer. It's me, I did. I was going through comments on yesterday's vlog and I saw this one reminding me to wear my glasses. And I did not wear my glasses yesterday and I hadn't worn them yet today while I was at my computer. And you know what? Last night, uh, right before bed, I actually started getting a headache. And it might just be a pregnancy thing because sometimes I get pregnancy headaches, but it also could be because I was squinting and straining and not wearing my glasses while I was editing and stuff. Or it could be a combination and it was just made worse by not wearing my glasses. But wearing my glasses usually helps. So thank you kind commenter for the very important reminder. So earlier I was going through some mail I still have more mail to go through downstairs just a bunch of stuff for upcoming videos and also some Black Friday purchases But I got a very exciting package that I had been waiting on So I'll just take you guys over to the table where I have it laid out So I am 15 weeks and four days pregnant today I think. And up until this point, I have not bought any maternity clothes. I've just been wearing my pre-pregnancy stuff, but I'm starting to get to that weird point in pregnancy where I don't quite need maternity clothes, but some specific items in my closet, like jeans and skirts, uh, no longer are fitting me. My pre-pregnancy leggings still work. And then I got a couple new items from Fabletics from their November collection and December collection. And those aren't maternity, but I did size up. I'm usually an extra large in Fabletics and in said I got a 1X. And the pre-pregnancy extra larges I have still work. I'm still wearing them, but the 1Xs were definitely more comfortable. And so on Black Friday, Cyber Monday over the weekend, when there were some pretty good deals online, I actually ordered my first pair of maternity jeans. That's the back. I was like, why are there front pockets? I was like, oh, that's the butt. <laughs> maternity jeans. Ta-da! So these are from Madewell. I will put um, like a screenshot of the actual product on the screen in case anyone also wants to get them. And I'll see if I can find a link to put in the description. If I can, it'll be down below. But these are just a pair of their black maternity jeans and they have an over the belly band here. That's what this thing is. And I have never tried on maternity pants. I did get a pair of maternity leggings that just got in from Fabletics. And they have a similar structure with that like looser over the belly band. And I have already tried these on, but I'll go ahead and try them on again to show you guys when I try on the pants. But I really like the maternity leggings because there's just zero pressure on my stomach. And I feel like if I'm gonna buy maternity anything, I feel like maternity bottoms are better because most of my body changes, well, I guess not most because my boobs have grown a lot, but the main pregnancy body change that are affecting the way clothes fit me are like waist down. And so most of my tops are fine and are probably, especially my looser fitting tops are probably gonna be fine through pregnancy. But with bottoms, my options are already getting pretty limited and I know that's only gonna get worse. For the last like two and a half, three weeks, I had pretty much exclusively been either wearing the Confident and Kind Perfect pants because those are looser fitting and they have the elastic band in the back and the adjustable waist. So I think those will fit me for a long time through pregnancy. And then my pre-pregnancy leggings and sweats. And that was about it. I feel like in my brain, my bump still isn't super visible, but the changes are definitely showing in the way like bottoms fit me. So I'm really excited. Um, Let's go, let's go try these on. And these, I'm very excited. Holy guacamole, these are comfy AF. I'm gonna take off my sweater so that you guys can see like how far the belly band goes up and stuff. Okay, so the belly band goes all the way up and it starts about here, like the actual jean material switches to this like kind of spandexy material in like a U shape, kind of hugging the bump, which is really cool. And here is what my bump looks like from the side right now. I do think it's actually grown quite a bit, but man, are these comfy. These are so so 
so comfy. I, I definitely like these jeans, but I do think I need to size down just because if you get up close, I have a lot of loose fabric here and here, and I feel like I would be kind of doing this shimmy dance all the time. I feel like they should make pants like these that aren't even just maternity, that just like the jean part ends here, because you know when you're like sitting in a car for a long time in jeans and it's just uncomfortable on your stomach? Like imagine if it was this, just like legging material on top and then nice looking jeans on the bottom. That like, why is this only for maternity? Also, the belly band feels really, really stretchy, so I do think these would fit me all the way through pregnancy. So I think I'm just gonna see if I can exchange these for a 32. I got a 33 in these. I really just have like no idea what size I am right now. Like pre-pregnancy, I was about a 16, but even then it fluctuated so much depending on the brand and the style and then add pregnancy in the mix. And I'm like, I have, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Actually this morning, I was working on ordering some stuff for an ASOS maternity haul that I think I'm gonna do in January. And again, I was just like, I, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to get in standard size. I don't know what to get in maternity. It's a struggle, but you know what? I am glad I found these jeans because these are just really, really nice. And even if I can't exchange them, I do think I'm gonna keep them because I don't really mind them being a little bit looser. Like ideally they'd be a little bit tighter fitting, but if, if this is all I can get, I'll take it. One problem I do see though with maternity jeans like this though is I would need to wear a longer sweater than this one because you can see where the jeans meet the belly band and I feel like I'd want something longer to kind of cover that. And a lot of my clothes are cropped because that's like, usually my favorite style, but I guess a lot of my cropped clothes are not gonna work with maternity jeans like this. <laughs> okay, so I just went to look to see if I can exchange these jeans, and I can, but they're back ordered, and the estimated ship date is Monday, January 25th. <laughs> so I'd have to wait about a month and a half, but I... I don't know, I feel like it's worth it. I got them in a 33 before, which is the equivalent of a 16. So I think I'm gonna go to a 32, which should be the equivalent of a 14. And I guess I'll just have to stick it out with my leggings and my sweatpants until then. <laughs> well, actually I am getting a pair of maternity jeans for that ASOS haul. And I'm gonna be filming that at the end of December. And those are a pair of like light wash jeans. So maybe, maybe those ones will work out too. All right, I'm gonna go do this exchange and then let's go try on the maternity leggings. Okay, here are the maternity leggings. These are so freaking soft. <laughs> By the way, I feel like I should say, since I do work with Fabletics sometimes, but these are not sponsored. I bought these with my own money. Whenever something is sponsored, I'll always say it's sponsored before I even like talk about the product or show it. So just FYI, you never have to wonder, but yeah, I really, really love these. <laughs> the only bummer about these leggings is they're sold out in my size in black. So I got this pair in the olive green and then I also got a pair in navy blue. And I'm hoping they restock the black so I can get a pair because I would probably just live in these if I could get them in black. So until I get a pair of black maternity leggings or a pair of like legitimate maternity jeans, expect to be seeing a lot of these even when they don't match the top I'm wearing. <laughs> I wanna do a wash load of all my dirty masks because I have quite a few that need to be washed right now. But it would be like such a waste to do a full load with just like eight masks. And our washer, we bought a new washer when we moved into this house. It has like a little mini washer under the washer that's meant for just throwing in a couple things like this if you need to wash just like one or two items real quick. And I've never used it before because usually I have no problem filling up a whole load of laundry. So I think I'm gonna try it. I think I'm gonna try and use that. I might have to get Steven to help me though because he's actually used it before and knows how, but I'll, I'll try to be an independent woman and do it myself first. So this is our washer. And then down here, this is the little mini washer. And I'm pretty sure it just works like a regular top loader washer. So I'm gonna toss in my masks, pour in detergent. I shouldn't need that much because it's a tiny, tiny load. If this works, this is gonna be like the perfect mask washer. Okay, power. We want normal, I think. And hold to start. Is it going? Uh-oh, Steven's coming. I'm trying to be an independent woman and do it myself. <laughs> All right, so that means you didn't follow, see this big warning? Uh-huh. says, oh, never mind. Oh, I think it's, what'd you do? I put detergent in, I closed it, and then I clicked normal. All right, so remember the one thing with this, always be careful. You did normal. Mm -hmm. Did you hold down? I hold, held to start, yes. And then did you push it? Oh, do I have to push it back in? Yep, it won't start unless it's in. Oh. Is it going? It's so silent, we'll never know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you know what that's called? A washer? No. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's called like the pedestal kick, the kick washer. I don't know. Oh. Anyways, congrats, your first time using it. Yay. <laughs> 
Yay, thank you. It's perfect for masks. It's perfect for lots of little things. I know, but usually I have more than enough laundry for a load. Yes, also true. So how's your busy day going? Good, my hair's a little crazy here. No, it looks great. <sighs> Today was like meeting apocalypse. <laughs> Finally done with all my meetings. It was literally just nonstop. Now it's three o'clock. So done with that. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of work, and then I think we're doing something today. Yeah, we we're gonna go on a walk. I think we had said at like four, four thirty. Well, actually, we should probably go at four, because I also need to take a sponsored Instagram photo while we're on this walk, and it gets dark at like four forty. Are you are you gonna be able to go at four? Well, we so can I'll, we can go tomorrow. If well, you want. We can go a smidge after four. I got another thing at three thirty, so twenty minutes. <laughs> oh my God, you're so busy, <laughs> busy, busy. Yep, it's crazy right now. I love you. Love you too. All right, back into your layer. <laughs> yep. A little peek inside Steven's office as he goes back in. Bye bye. Oh, and peep my awesome throw pillow and my ornament. <laughs> the ornament is my favorite. Steven and his office mate had these hung up in their office last Christmas, and uh, Steven kept his to decorate the little ledge outside his office. And the throw pillow. Steven was trying to convince me I don't need to buy throw pillows because he already has this one, but. I'm still gonna buy throw pillows. <laughs> Which by the way, when I had asked you guys in yesterday's vlog where I should look for throw pillows, since I didn't find any I liked at Target for like Christmas themed ones. And it seems like the most common suggestion was home goods. So I, I think I have some free time on Friday. So maybe we'll take a little detour to home goods and look at some Christmas throw pillows and decor and stuff then. Okay, my new favorite food thing. These crackers, they sell them at Costco. Well. Sometimes they sell them at Costco. I went to Costco like three weeks ago and they didn't have them, but then my mom went last week and they did, so she bought me four bags <laughs> because I love them so much. But they're these Pepper Jack crisps and they're relatively high protein for like a cracker. And if you don't know, I have PCOS, so I work with a PCOS specialized dietitian. And the main thing that she helped me with was upping protein in my diet because she said that's really important for the way that my body processes food. And so I'm always on the lookout for good, like higher protein, yummy snacks and these, so good. So I take like a couple of these chips and then goat's milk cheese and I spread the cheese onto the cracker and the crackers are a little bit spicy and then the cheese kind of like neutralizes that. And oh my gosh, is it so freaking good. <laughs> like so good. So you have to try this. If you're a Costco person, get these crackers, try this. Let me know what you think. I got my friend Kenzie hooked on these and then she got her entire freaking family into them. They really are just that good. They're so tasty. Mm, I mean, come on. So freaking good and a little spicy in there. So good. So good. We are out on our walk. It's actually kind of chilly. Yeah, I am freezing. And I'm Steven's very... in flip flops. <laughs> yeah, I literally, Sarah's like, oh, we should go on our walk. And I was like, as soon as the second I could, I could finish up work, I threw on flip flops. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> I didn't realize he was in flip flops until we got here. And I was like, that's what you're walking in? So. Well, and I'm like, I'm just in like my generic house working from home PJs. Like, <laughs> I was not on video today, so. I'm just a hot mess. Help. Well, I think you look great. <laughs> my Target Star Wars shirt, a classic. And your hat, hat. My hat, hat. <laughs> my black like workout shorts. And the flip flops. And the flip flops. <laughs> well, I just love getting out in the evenings when we can and walking, and it's just so peaceful. Yeah. Ooh, I should start my little exercise ring on my Oh yeah, me too. Also, I put my hair in a little half up pony before we left and I feel like the half up pony, for whatever reason right now with the way my hair is, is the move. <laughs> That's what I did too. Oh wait. No. <laughs> All right, walk time. Yeah, make sure you watch where you're walking too. Yeah. There's bumps <laughs> and logs and rocks. <laughs> I was uh, going through this and I was like, oh, you should show the vlog. So here we are. I got my Dollar Shave Club box for the month. This is the first one I like added new things to. So You should say, because I feel like Dollar Shave Club sponsors a lot of YouTubers. Oh, yeah. Not Hashtag sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> I, actually... I said that today about my Fabletics because I work with them all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't work with Dollar Shave Club, but I do like their stuff and it's, I don't know, it works out and I like it just coming and I never have to worry about it again because I was the king of like, Oops, I ran out of shampoo and then like didn't use shampoo for a week or like use zero shampoo. Anyways. Did you use my shampoo? Well, not since I got Dollar Shave Club. Because now sometimes I have too much. Sometimes I use your deodorant when I Exactly. You need a deodorant subscription. Anyways, <laughs> I got my uh, shampoo, some my uh, wash. I get my toothpaste from them now. I got, this is two new things. I'll save the new things for after. My deodorant. And then new things I got is like a travel thing for my razor, which let's be honest, I don't shave quite as much as I once used to. And that's why I don't get razor heads anymore because I got a stash. I got 
hand cream, because, you know, your boy got dry hands and they peel like cheese grater. Then I got hair cream, which I should have tried this before I bought it, but oh well. We'll give that a gander. And also, hair has been a little longer in the uh, quarantine lifestyle. And that's it. And I got a little, like, newspaper for when I uh, sit down on the porcelain for a while. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, that's it, and uh, yeah, thank you for coming to my unboxing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go put this away, and then on our walk, I was talking to Sierra, and I was just like so out of it. I was like, oh I man, I just feel so brain dead and just meh. And she's like, oh, how about this? You go upstairs, you play games, or just, you know, do whatever, and I will cook you dinner. And I was like, what? I have cooked dinners for a long time, since Sierra got pregnant. And I've also have had a grown interest in cooking. It's kind of like a nice hobby of something to do. This is my quarantine hobby I picked up as I'm sure many of us did. I never got the bread phase as I know many people did, but it is what it is. Anyways, so Sierra's actually right behind the camera getting ready on dinner. Say hi, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. <laughs> and I'm gonna go upstairs and just chillax and transition to a nice evening. Then dinner is served. Wow. We have a creamy pasta with kale topped off with some rosemary walnuts because I'm just that fancy. Wow. Just kidding, it's a and, blue apron. <laughs> and Parmesan, the CC classic. I do love Parmesan. <laughs> um, do you want to watch an episode of Clone Wars? What we eat? Sure. We couch? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. So I'm just getting situated here at my desk to edit this vlog, get it all ready to go up tomorrow morning. And uh, Stephen and I said we were just gonna watch one episode of the Star Wars Clone Wars series while we ate dinner. And then we literally watched four because it is so, it is so good. If you are a big Star Wars fan and you have not watched the animated Clone Wars series, you have to watch it. We actually started it like two years ago and then we just kind of forgot about it. And we never finished it. And no spoilers, but it ties in with The Mandalorian. And so we decided to go back and watch it. And oh my gosh, is it so good. It's so good. <laughs> but anyways, Steven is back in his office playing some video games, chilling out for the night. My mask load that I put in earlier finished and it worked perfectly. So definitely going to use that little like mini washer more. And I'm going to edit this vlog. And then I think depending on how long this takes me, I think I'm going to have time to take a bath and do some skincare and play some some Animal Crossing tonight. I feel like I will. It's like 7.30 right now. So yeah, I'll have time. I'll make time. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. Thank you so much. And we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. Bye. Baby, this here is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas.